we talk maybe a bit too much about about uh, permission so we'll do this this other case uh, very quickly guys okay because i really want to spend time uh, on regarding this but the others are really like very simple tickets so let's go for this one uh, so ticket two content content recovery request scenario user b accidentally deleted a file from the site yesterday and wants to re to res to restore it so if i remember well you need to go under under sites and it's if i'm not if i'm correct it's site content yeah and under site content you would see guys recycle bin so whenever things you could search uh to the um, to this actual deleted accidental deleted file that the user b has done and then you could just recover this actual file okay guys so okay so ticket do done now what about ticket three we, uh, ticket three we already cover it integration and sync issue user d wants uh, a workflow to notify the the team in microsoft teams whenever a document is uploaded to a specific document library guys since we spend too much time on assigned permission we don't have the time for the we don't have time for this one but um you should definitely try to do this one is a bit complicated if you never have do it but you need to use power automate okay you you to you use you need to use basically power automate to do this and you will be able to configure um to automate teams with sharepoint and it's really i told you it's a bit complicated but once you know guys it's really easy it's really not 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 that uh, that crazy to do so then let me go back on here uh, site 5 site creation or deletion request this one guys it's very easy to be honest you just like go there create a site either you choose a communication site or a team site and you don't have nothing else to do guys everything will be done for you to, with sharepoint so you just go there you choose a, for example a, a standard team and you just use the template and that's it guys and you will have the exact same uh home page and everything 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 if you just create a site okay so what else what else Ticket six, uh, site customization issues. The HR reports that the quick link web port on the SharePoint page is not uh, showing the correct icons for their resource. Yeah, this one is also not that complicated. You just go to, uh, if I remember well, uh, you need to go to um, the actual edit homepage or edit no more this one. I think yeah and you just like configure this actual link and you will implement another edit properties okay and here edit properties and you just change here i don't know where it is uh you just change here the link okay it's here yeah and change and you just change the link okay that's it guys you just change the link you go site or from a link and you just change the link that, that's it guys it's really not that complicated so yep uh, save as draft and for the next one what do we have ticket seven storage quota issues guys i think this one um i tried that one but i'm not sure let me go back so here i think i need to go to site usage and basically because you don't have we only have business premium plan so uh but let me check if it's correct or not desktop no it's not here site usage site content okay guys but basically i'm just letting you know actually what's going on if if you see how um how big is your actual actual um storage you depending on your plan you could go to just you you just need guys to delete everything that you could in order to decrease the um, the the actual storage okay if it has exceeded that's it that's it guys and delete maybe certain doc documents and guys there is also something that is very important about 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 
uh, about SharePoint is that, for example, for this type of issue, let's say you have exceeded your your limit uh, of storage and you normally, everybody have 50, 50 gig, sorry, the site has, uh, let's say 50 gigabyte, 50 gigabytes. The thing is, what you need to do is that you need to go on Microsoft Purview and it could be a bit confusing, but yes, you need to go on Microsoft Purview and add a policy, a retention policy that say, okay, delete forever, every, permanently, sorry, you delete permanently every file that is more than five years. And you will implement this rule and you will at the same time recycle the bin and you will see that, for example, you have extra 10 gigabyte more. And it's just because of this, guys, just because you need to just delete all file and you and to delete all file on the site, you do this through Microsoft Purview. Guys, I'm really sorry. I really wanted to show you the power power automate things, but we really talked a lot and I, I really thought that I would make like a 30 minutes again, <laughs> a 30 minutes uh, video about SharePoint, but it ended up, it ended up to be way longer than this. Guys, as you heard, I was not supposed to do this uh, this ticket, but I was kind of in a rush and I'm thinking again because I'm quickly like editing the video right now and let's go, you know, like let, let's just do this this actual, um, actual ticket. But guys, uh, I'm still in a rush, so we will try to do it quickly and we will... I would not explain because there is so much to talk about Power Automate and this is one of the greatest features on Microsoft 365 but we just going to resolve the ticket and that's it. We're not going to go and explain what is that, what is this, etc, etc, okay? And of course, I hope I, will, I could make um, like a huge video about Power Automate and so I could make multiple tickets about, about it. Okay, so let's go guys. So... User D wants a workflow to notify the team in Microsoft Teams whenever a document is uploaded to a specific document library. Okay, so let's go. So first, guys, we need to go to Power Automate and where we will, how you could go to Power Automate, it's through this and through, yes, Power Automate. And yeah, and then what we want... We want to create and guys don't um i i know that some of you had struggled to go to power automate and it's not there guys because if you go there i'm not actually sure but let's see yeah if you go there you will go to power platform the power platform admin center which is um how you say the reunification no we don't say this word it's connect multiple power platforms into one meaning power b power automate power like my um like all those um powers projects okay from microsoft 365 so you you should not go there you should click on he, uh, so here the nine dots and go to power automates and then you will be redirect uh to this page to this the actual uh, products of of Power Automate. So then you will create an automated cloud flow. And then what you want is you want to call it, uh, what was the ticket? The ticket was notify, okay, notify the team in Microsoft Teams. So let's do this. Notify the team in Microsoft Teams. And then just say SharePoint file. Okay, so here we want to say SharePoint properties only when a file is created or modified. Trigger when an item is created or modified in a library returns only. I know that there is many, yeah, there is many. Triggers when an item is created returns only the properties stored in the library volume. Uh, let me let's make file created properties only yeah i think it's this that you want guys you want this one okay so then you say okay uh yeah there's also one thing that I, that you need to know guys is that i remember that power automate 
it's there is a lot of uh, lag, a lot of bug into this. Sometimes it could work, sometimes it it could not work. It depends on I don't know the Microsoft servers. It's it's not your fault if something are not doing well. It's really not your fault. For example, I remember I struggled getting this automatically. Like I had to put it manually, but he couldn't figure it out. What was the library name, etc. So, but now it's good. It's working perfectly. So we will choose this team, guys, or the team that we have here, which is this one. Okay, the IT team. And then we will go on, uh, yep, yeah, we'll choose the library, the library name, which is documents, documents, which is here, okay, and uh, that's it, yeah, and that's it, okay, uh, then we will plus, we will press play, and the action, you already know what it is, guys, it's Microsoft Teams, because we want to send a message from create a teams meeting we want to um okay let's just send a message mm. get message i don't know if it's this one but actually um i need to post a message in the chat or channel oh yeah this this is that one flow bots uh, let's say channel so what i said guys is whenever what we are doing right now is and it looks a bit like you know scratch i don't know if you remember uh, when we talk um about computer science the cs50 hardware uh, program that i did and in the week zero you had to work about sorry in the week zero you, uh, the david g Mellon, the professor is actually teaching you uh, things under scratch and it's actually a very fun things to do and it's the same here it's pretty fun to work with power automate so you go in there it team and we are precising here what do we want so we want it team and we want the general uh, general message so here general yeah the channel id so the message could be um hey someone uh someone just create a file you should check this out okay so then we just go there we just make sure okay we save and it will take a little bit time your flood is ready to go we recommend you to test it okay so you see guys it's it's pretty simple to be honest it's really not that difficult especially when you come from a coding background doing this it's like scratch it's it's why guys i was telling you about this it's really scratch like you're doing scratch job okay so okay so now our, it's our flow okay notify the team in microsoft team uh, slash sharepoint file so we should we need to wait a little bit i don't know so this is the actual team here guys we're just gonna press multiple times we're gonna re-initialize initialize sorry refreshing the page and just wait a little bit okay so then we will go uh to let me think let me think let me think um okay so let's go guys so what we will do because i know that when you're working with power automate it could be tricky because you could implement rules that only trigger under certain folder but not sorry in the actual documents first folder i don't know if it's you could understand it uh but if you are creating file into the subfolder now there will be no notifi notification it's only when you create when you will create one here one, one here sorry so we will just try let's uh, just um, create this document and let's just say hey hey why oh, i can't change the name
Okay, th this is fine. We don't care about this. We just want... Okay, and now... So now it should prompt us to notification, guys. Because right now we will go under general and we will also create a file. So let's see if we if it's working or not. So then we will press here and we'll say, hey, 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 just the time, just... But why doesn't sync in? I think there is maybe some issue here. It doesn't sync in. Okay, finally. Okay, so let's just say finally. Uh, and then for this one. Hey, okay. So, okay, so we have two documents. Let's see if we receive the notification. Perfect, guys. We received two notification. Okay, hey, someone just created a file. You should check this out. It's exactly what we have implemented. So that's perfect. This is exactly what you want. So guys, like this, my work is done. We covered everything. And, and yeah, guys, so enjoy. Just enjoy the video. And we just did like some overtime just for you guys. <laughs>